Hey Rahul, this is Roger from EGMAT. So um, I analyze your your score report, uh, actually a yes up both for quant and verbal and, and even though you don't have quant from us, I just wanted to give you that feedback. So just at a very high level, I want to let you know that you're in verbal, let's kind of draw over here, in verbal, your, your score is limited, truly limited by your ability. In quant, uh, both timing and ability and ability have an impact on your score in fact in quant had you uh, we had more time you probably would have gone to a q 46 47 that's something that you were on to but because of lack of time that's kind of where you messed up on verbal timing had really no impact it was just all your ability that that kind of messed you up and let's kind of uh, go over there a bit more let's just scroll to the verbal part uh, over here and now you're going to start with, with just your ability scores which actually are very telling so let's look at your ability scores focus on this particular section and what you see is sentence correction around the 80th percentile reading comprehension around that 60th percentile but really really poor um, in, in, in in critical reasoning now when i look at your egmat course you're going to really see now that that uh, out of the three critical reasoning was where you were the weakest and you didn't revise the course for upwards of three months and and because of which i think you can see that rustiness come in really clearly sentence correction was the best and then you retained a lot of it now let's kind of go into the skills part of this and and analyze this a bit further so off the bat i'm going to start with this trend i'm going to start with 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 your sentence correction grammar part you pretty much know all of it but but when it comes to the meaning based question which is what we call as the communication part that's kind of where you start to falter um, similarly uh, infer infer inferences you seem to be doing well but but you're not reading the facts clearly is what this says again i do see a, a slight rustiness not a whole lot with applying reading strategies but but when it comes to CR again, as expected, when you are at that 15th percentile, there is a lot that needs to be revised. I can kind of see that you're not following the pre-thinking approach. That's a very strong hypothesis that I have based on, on just this data that I see. And, and I compare this data with the data in, in the EGMI platform, by the way, where you were doing a lot better three and a half months back uh, or so. So, so I think that pre-thinking approach is lost on you over here. You definitely need to to, to focus on that and then at a very high level I think um, on the verbal side about 50% of your time needs to be in critical reasoning but 30% of your time needs to be in reading comprehension and 20% of your time needs to be on on, on, on on this over here okay let's kind of go into into the attempts piece and 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 this actually is, is telling a story and, and let me just zoom it in over here and, and, and so that just this screen is visible. Now, here's a, a very interesting piece over here. Block one, you got 75% accuracy over here. And, 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 and what you see is you made mistakes only in the very difficult questions. Um, and, but the questions that you got right, their average difficulty level was a lot lower. Block two, the overall, um, Average difficulty level of questions went up and, and as a result, you know, you made more mistakes. Um, and, and this is where what you see is that the algorithms kind of honing on your overall ability level over here. The average difficulty correct went up. That's the blue line. The average difficulty incorrect was still above above correct. And, and then the algorithm is more or less honing on to your, your, your overall ability. Block three is where actually I'm very surprised. I think you got a bunch of critical reasoning questions over here and uh, and I think that's kind of where you made a lot of the mistakes but as questions got easier in block four you actually did really well it's, it's it's truly that's where the test thinks that this is what your ability is because look at how well you performed when questions became easier and, and the funny thing which is there is if you look at the timing part of it you did that well in block four despite you know hardly having a minute per question it, it, it for me, when I really say, I, I really say you, 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 your attempt is truly ability limited. Why? Because block one, you had ample time. Block two, I think you had ample time. And even though it's a minute 34 for questions you answered correctly, for questions you answered incorrectly, you spend a lot longer on them. Block three, you had ample time. And in fact, again, 
questions you answered incorrectly you spent upwards of two and a half minutes on them over here block four you didn't have time uh, but but the questions were easier you just breeze through them and you had close to 90 percent accuracy over there so so again you're truly ability limited timing wise there's nothing limiting you on on, on verbal so again as i said you need to focus on on going through those, those cr course especially doing all the application files and and following the pre-thinking approach again uh, you need to in reading comprehension you need to focus on the reading strategies and, and truly apply them in sentence correction just focus on hard meaning based questions now let's kind of look at how does this uh, uh, compare with with how your stats on the EGMAT platform I'm, I'm gonna start with critical reasoning and and, and critical reasoning you know uh, what do you see over here good scores when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to to concept files but really when it comes to the practice quizzes over here if I expand this and you can really see this is where the practice quiz scores are many quizzes where well, there's a lot left to be desired similar stuff on the assumption side of things concept files good scores practice files not as great scores um, evaluate actually only a couple of files as well where uh, or just one file where you faltered the application file three but but again this was all three months ago and you were doing despite you know not doing as great on practice quizzes if you look at your stats in scholarium they know where point to that 15 percentile score uh, that you achieved i mean if I look at hard questions, 53% accuracy in hard questions is actually pretty good, especially given the fact that you solved a good number of hard questions. 56% uh, accuracy, I don't like it a whole lot, but the fact that you have this good accuracy in hard tells me that, you know, in the later part of the of, of questions that you solved, the medium level, you probably had much higher accuracy. So if I just go by this and say in November, had you taken the test, you probably would have scored around the 65th thought percentile in critical reasoning um, or so which kind of is very similar to the 71st percentile uh, score that you took in September or so over here so again you had the ability you lost it over time let's go on quant quant uh, as I said you're both timing and, uh, and ability limited you scored 46 percentile um, there's nothing to take between problem solving and data sufficiency. Let's first go on to why do we say it's timing limited. And, and this is where um, what I want to emphasize on is, is, is this last block in, 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 in quant where, um, where you made a ton of mistakes over here. And, 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 um, and the reason why you made mistakes because hey, look at the difficulty level of questions over here, compare that to the overall difficulty level of questions here. Uh, block four has easier questions than block three but the reason you made mistakes was when you look at the time piece you only had about a minute to solve these questions uh, in block four whereas you had uh, a minute 50 or close to two minutes to solve these questions again my hypothesis is if you had more time to solve questions over here um, you probably would have gotten a q46 46 or 47 and and um, and, and again, as you said in your in your statements, he said, hey, questions seem difficult. That's very, very clear from from this data point here. Where in block one, you, you kind of took a lot of time, spent about three minutes answering every question on an average. So so clearly there is some rustiness in, in quant as well. Um, now, which are the areas that you need to worry about in, in quant? Um, you know, two areas really come out these inequalities so uh, 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 so the algebra part and then the value order factors uh, essentially which is uh, your number properties part over here this is something these are two areas that you really need to work on these are areas probably if, if your your accuracy scores are lower you probably took longer to solve questions over there as well again I'm saying probably because I don't have data on scol in scholarium to really back this up this is just accuracy data I don't have difficulty level to, to really get this but but this is again a best guess that I can make so quant focus on these two areas on verbal I, I, I said how you need to spend your time and, and I think um, you know you can definitely overall as, as an individual I think you, you you can hit improve that score to 700 fairly easily if you focus on, on on those areas and put your head down spend about a month you don't need more time than that but spend about a month um, doing that and again um, 
if you need more help, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can write always to the EGMAT team and they can provide very specific advice.